Hey guys, we're back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be first going on our walk, showing you just a little bit of our walk, what we do every morning on the weekends. And then afterwards, we're gonna go to the pet store to buy some things for Bernie. So stay tuned and keep watching. Two hours later. All right, guys. So we just got back from the pet supermarket store near our house, and we're just gonna show you some of the things that we got because it was super expensive, and we actually kind of need all this stuff. So the first thing was just more toys for Brownie because he bites and destroys everything. So I saw this on Amazon, but it's in store, so we just got it. So it's like a suction cup where you stick it to the floor, and then he just pulls it and. We'll try it out and show you guys in a few. That's that. The next one was a ball that you can put treats inside. He had one of these before and he chewed it to death and destroyed it. So we just bought a new one. Um, the next two things are just new bowls for his food and water. Uh, this is the basic black one. We just need a new one. And then we wanted to try out this. It's just a water dispenser where you fill all the way to the top and the water comes out so we don't have to keep filling up his water because a lot of times we forget to fill up the water. So. And the next thing we got was a seat belt for the car. Um, he really likes to look out the window. And whenever I'm driving and Tawans are in the car or vice versa, I don't really like to put the windows down because I'm afraid he's going to jump out of the car. So I'll just, you know, put his seatbelt on and he can look out the window without jumping out of the car. And then the last thing was this. Go ahead and explain why you got this. So I bought my puppy a 20, what, 20 foot collar. Um, at least sorry the reason why is because if we was to go to the park or just anything in general with him playing he can just have more freedom and vanessa thinks around. that's a stupid idea but i think it's a great idea honestly so you guys let us know in the comment section who's right and who's wrong but that's pretty much it yeah that's pretty much it all the stuff that we got and these are pretty much necessities that we need so and we'll show you guys too a little bit more in details of how everything looks once we set it up all right, guys, so we're about to set up his first toy. He is really interested in it, so we're gonna see how this plays out. So that we can suction it to the floor, it said, or we can do a door handle, but we're a little scared for the door handle. So we're just gonna do the floor. Okay, guys, well, we already Sit messed down. up something. We Sit. suctioned it to our island. <laughs> piece and it ripped out <laughs> so we tried the floor and it's not suctioning so we're gonna have to try another plan maybe the door handle might be the only option <laughs> all right guys so the only option that we found is at one of the end of our cabinets so we're gonna try that right now all right buddy go ahead I'll give it a seven because it doesn't stick to everything, honestly. Honestly, it's a five because it's really easy to stick to everything. But the fact that it can distract him for quite a period of time. Yeah, and I feel like he just has to get used to it too. He's not used to it, so it's, it's good for right now. Maybe we'll update in like a month. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, and for the final toy that this guy is all excited about. We already put the treats in, so 
I'll show them where the trees go at. And this is heavy. Like, we have neighbors underneath us. We're on the third floor in our apartment, so he likes to throw his stuff. So hopefully, we'll see. I give this, I give this like an eight out of ten. Uh, yeah, I say eight out of ten because one, the treats come out way too easily, so like I feel like he's gonna get bored quick with it. But I mean, it serves its purpose, so I mean, I recommend it. It's pretty durable, but the treats come out way too easily, so. All right, and then the last thing that we forgot to show you guys that we bought um, was this little like mat thing cover up. So we have like this ottoman that we use and brownies not a lot on it unless there's something on like because we don't want him messing up our very expensive couch. So we usually just put like this big blanket but I didn't really like how that looked. So we bought this mat and just gonna go like kind of on top like that. Or if he wants to lay down like over here, he's not a lot over here, but I can just put this over here and he can lay down with me. But normally this is his spot, so this is where we're looking for that. Come here. Come on, come try it out. Up. Mm. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, that is not what we bought this for. Yeah, great. Now we have to train him to not bite it. Oh, Brownie. That's not what it's for. It's only for laying that Brownie. Brownie, no. 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 Sir. no. Guys, he loves to chill and then he's like yeah. Everything. Good boy. You know you're in the wrong. <laughs> that is not a toy. Say sorry. He heard toy. Say sorry. Alright. <laughs> okay. Next. Alright, guys, we're doing a week update on the toys and if we recommend it to you or not. So for the ball, I would say we would recommend it, even though it is a little bit too big, but it does get the job done. As you can see, he's chewed through it a lot and it hasn't really made too much of like a mess or like holes in it. And the treats are still stuck in them and he still chases them around. So I would recommend this one. Just, it's really loud, like if he drops it on the floor. Other than that, it's perfect. Next one was the little suction cup one that suctions to stuff and he's supposed to like tug on it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it unless you have something that can suction to this because our apartment where we live doesn't have anything that suctions to it and he just ends up biting this and it's it was really pointless but I mean if you really want to buy it, if you can suction it then go for it but I wouldn't recommend it so that's pretty much it. All right, guys, that's the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed our little toy haul and recommendations of what toys to get for your dog. We want to say thank you for watching our channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video. Comment down below anything that you liked about the video or what you want to see next in the future. And we'll see you later. Bye.